Hello, welcome to my channel Excel Zilla. My name is Mubeen and in this video we are going to learn how to use conditional formatting and spark lines. As you can see on my screen, I have good presentation of uh, some data compared to standard data which is something like this. So, if you are forwarding this data to your clients or your to uh, your management, this would not be so impressive. In fact, this one would be more impressive which gives a real time visual of your data in few seconds. So, let us see how we can make this kind of data using conditional formatting in Sparkline. It is very interesting, very simple and very quick. So, let us get started. All you need to do is just select this range, go in conditional formatting, highlight no, go in data bars and you can select the fill. So, you can have this uh, gradient fill or solid fill. So, I am going to choose this gradient fill on this box and a green color. Automatically, it has understood and the top value has got full 100 percent and the rest value the data has been adjusted accordingly. So, let us use for the sales. Now, for the sales we are going to use the color scale. So, we have this red, amber and green which is rag color and just click over here. So, red is something which is as a bottom line and then the color shades goes up to yellow and then uh, till dark green. Same way, let us move to revenue and do a conditional formatting against data bar. Now, this time I am going to use the solid fill green color. Okay. So, as you can see there is a slight difference between a gradient and solid. Likewise, let us do this for gradient fill, data bars or something in orange color. It is actually a red color and this as well data bars, magenta color. So, as you can see it has become quite attractive compared to your previous version. Now, let us have some kind of analytics in the in the cell. For this you need to go in insert and here you have line, column and win and loss. Now, looking at this data, we can only use line and column because win and loss is something where you have a negative value. We do not have a negative value in this, so this will not work for us, but let us see how we can use the uh, line and column bar. So, you can select this. So, yeah, there are two ways to do it. Let us do it one by one. Just select this, go in line. So, data range is automatically selected because you had already selected earlier and you need to give a location range. You can just click over here, your location range is here. As you can see the line bar is all line is already added. Now, you can once you click over here, you have your color selection available. You can have your weight as well, you can adjust this weight, make it more thicker. Okay. So, but it is not looking that great. So, let me move back to my original weight which is to 1.4, no lesser than that. Okay, 1, okay. Same way you can do this. Now, this time we are going to do a column and we have not selected the range, we have only given the location range this time, but now you have to give a data range. So, you need to select this entire one, do not select the rest otherwise you will get an incorrect answer. Okay. Wow. So, data range is added over here. Let us do again for uh, line. So, data range over here. Okay, and now do a bar 
column one data range okay and again do a column data range okay it's looking a little clustered so let me change it to line so you can change it to line as well and you can have your own color so for this let me give a green color for this let me give a brown color again I'll give a blue color for this here I'll choose a red color so red color is not here but somewhere similar to brown okay here matching to this color all right so as you can see uh, your uh, conditional formatting and the spark line report is ready to be presented to your customer or to your management i hope you found this video useful for yourself please post under the comment box if you have any questions and also let me know which next video you want me to make thank you